Hey guys, this is Vishan from Dirt City. We got our EP out today. Hope you enjoy it. Hard rock, catch up. Beautiful, Vishan. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right, so Dirt City have today released your debut self-titled EP, mate. So how are the nerves? You would have been a bit bit edgy going into it. Yeah, that's it. Because this 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 EP has been around for a little while now. Um, Pre-COVID, um, even a couple of years before then started writing the riffs and started getting all the vocals down and pre-production was during COVID. So we've been sitting on it for ages and just wondering what everyone's going to think of it and how we're going to release it and how it's all going to go because we've lived with these songs for a long time now and just excited to have it out there and excited to play very soon and really get the city happening. So it's it's very exciting. So look, with the benefit of hindsight, Radar, do you think it's it's actually advantageous having that extra time or do you... Think it's bad like do you sit there and go Fuck, oh, maybe i should do this different or maybe i should do that or do you do you put it to bed and, and not let it worry you <laughs> it's one of those things isn't it like when is the work actually done yeah. <laughs> so um we kind of we, we knew we knew there would be a bit of a wait and we yeah it was all we've pretty much had the masters for probably a year and a half now and with that time oh it's, it's a bit either side i think because you do hear it and, and you're thinking oh we spent a bit more time there but the whole idea behind Dirt City was to keep things raw and human and unprocessed as possible. And so I think with getting it all done in that short amount of time, getting the and then waiting around, it also adds to that vibe as well, I think, because we could have spent so much time like, oh, maybe we should redo this part, um, do this differently, organize some other type of sound over here. But it's all about that in the spur of the moment. We're musicians. We play hard rock. Um, we just make it happen. Um, no need to overthink it, just get in there and do it. And that's kind of how we approach the band. And I think that's how we got to look at it going forward as well. It's been a long time, but that is us. That's how we sound. And yeah, happy for it too. Well, so sp speaking about the sound, bro, like can go into the EP a little bit deeper for us musically? Or what are you going for with it? Yeah, sure. So over the years, I've been playing a lot of metalcore bands, gent bands, that sort of thing. And these days, I've kind of got over that sound. It's all very tight, processed, quantized, comp max. It doesn't sound real to me anymore. It doesn't sound like a real guitar I was playing or a singer singing, that sort of thing. And I kind of wanted to rail against that with the city. And so what I did was put away all those high gain amps and I took a fuzz pedal instead. And with that fuzz pedal, new riffs started to come out, sloppier riffs. Um, but more real, more authentic, I think, more raw as well. And so that's been the whole idea behind Dirt Cities, get away from the process robotic sound and try and get into a real human sound where you can hear the, the, the player playing. You can hear a mistake here and there. You can hear a bit of speeding up, slowing down, but you're not hearing audio correction. You're hearing musicians doing what they do. And so that's where the, the real seed of this project came from. And Speak as as I got more more of the guys involved with the band, they really love that idea of just playing and just enjoying those mistakes, enjoying the human nature of it, and yeah, just being like a real band. And kind of way I try, try and describe it, really. For example, if you listen to Led Zeppelin and you quantize them and you comp them, that's not Led Zeppelin anymore. And so that's the sort of vibe we were trying to go for here with the whole attitude of let's just play it raw and vibe, just see how it goes. Previously released a single Squelch and Death in the Desert. So say so that's what people have, have been listening to from the band. Is that a good sonic representation of what to expect from the EP? I would say so, because to me, to my ears, Squelch and Death in the Desert are a bit different. Squelch is more on the industrial side, very filter-like, a bit of nine inch nails going on there. Um, Death in the Desert, that's more of your hard rock, um, alt metal, alt rock type vibe. And that, those two are the essence of what we do, I think. Um, the industrial synth dirty edge, but also just riffage straight through and through. But both of them do have the, the powerful vocal, the big catchy chorus. That's, what, that's also what we're about as well. So to answer the question, yeah, if you like both those songs, you're going to really like the EP. Um, there's, there's a few surprises there too. We've got a cover in there. Uh, we've got a few variations on themes. We've got a lot more world music happening as Death in the Desert has a bit of sitars and tablas and that sort of thing. So does a couple of other songs. They take on a few more flamenco elements, more hard rock elements, more uh, prog metal elements as well. So 
I think those two encapsulate a lot of the of the EP. So I think if you like it, you're gonna like. It. As as a new band, bro, like those two songs, like they were basically your resume to the world just to sort of let people. This is their introduction, man. Like, why did you choose those two to to represent the band? Yeah, it's a hard thing, you know. Once you finish your EP, you got we've got six songs there, and we have to pick. All right, which one's gonna which one's gonna be our first single? How are we gonna do this? And I, th I think just going back to your previous question, it, it 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 is all about what really represents us as a band. And to me, that industrial tinge, but also the big heavy riff, is where we're at. So which songs meld them the best? And we felt Squelch did that. That really introduced our in industrial vibe, really stamped us doing that. Because to me, not many bands are doing the industrial alt rock, alt metal thing anymore. And I think that gave us a good unique start. And then with Death in the Desert, again, a unique start with the sitars and tablas and the, the Middle Eastern flavor, but also melded in with the big riffs. I think those two really do tell a story of Dirt City. And I think... That's why we chose them end of the day. It really represented us well. Hey, you mentioned the Middle Eastern mysticism that's with the music, mate. Like that's that's a pretty strong feature throughout, but it's blended in such a subtle way that it's not, you know, it's not distinct differences. The music actually comes together really well. But where did that come from? Yeah, yeah. So I would say it goes back to my heritage, I think, because I'm Sri Lankan by heritage. And so I've heard sitars and tablas and all that sort of thing my whole life. And Usually um, people would say uh, sitars is a happy instrument, but to <laughs> me, I, I find something really dark and sinister about both the sitar and Middle Eastern um, instrumentation and scales. And I really, throughout my life, I tried to incorporate those notes and those sounds because, because there's something dark in there. And I really wanted to explore where that could go. And with a lot of the, the riffs, even with the big heavy riffs, not even the lead lines, there's a few of those scales involved. Uh, but yeah, to be honest, we also got um, a percussionist, uh, a session percussionist in Luke Robinson. who brought in a lot of Middle Eastern percussion as well, which really gives this, not just exotic tinge, but yeah, that it brings some sinister nature to it, I found. And it really melded well with the Western um, rock that we do, these Eastern Oriental flavors to really create that sort of uneasiness, I feel. and. Yeah, we really want to push that, but not, yeah, as you said, not in your face, this subtle texture throughout, just to give you a bit of uneasiness. <laughs> <laughs> so if you use session musicians to get the main part of that on the recording, mate, like, how are you going to replicate that sound live? <laughs> yeah, that, that's an interesting thing, because we we walked out of that um, studio session, uh, all the studio sessions, the synths going everywhere, there's lots of guitars <laughs> happening, the percussion, we were scratching our heads, heads going, what the hell are we going to do? And so what we ended up doing is we brought on another guitarist, Luke, another Luke. And um, he's one of those guys that knows his gear, knows how to operate um, his equipment live. And if you give him a challenge, he'll do it with a smile on his face. And so I said to him, listen to all these tracks, these produced tracks, what can you do? And we had a rehearsal with him and he came along again with a smile on his face. He's playing riffs at the same time he's playing a synth. Then he's doing some percussion on top of it. So even though we are using digital things involved in our, in our set, it's all live. Um, all, we all have to play all at once. We've got no backing tracks in there because that's the essence of what we're trying to do as well. We could have done it all with a bunch of backing tracks, but we felt, let's see what we can do here. How can we pull this off? And, yep, I'm pretty pleased with how that all happened, going, like, from the day we left the studio to how I feel now. It's a complete change, I'll tell you that much. That's nice, man. I mean... Well, we're on the, on the subject of live shows, mate. I'm sure you've got a few planned to promote the EP. Yeah, so um, next week um, on Thursday, Thursday the 24th, uh, we, we are doing our launch show at the Duke of Enmore. And we're supported there by the Rock Guys, Paint Job, and a, a really great grunge band, Hawker. And so that's hopefully going to be a great night. And after that, we've got, we're planning a bit of regional um, touring as well with Hawker. And so I get up to New South Wales regional towns and see how we go there. And then for 2024, yep, all on again, see what we can do from there. Very good, brother. All right, mate. Well, thanks very much for your time today. It's been a pleasure. Your self-titled EP is out now. And any lovers of hard rock with a bit of a twist, mate, I suggest you get amongst it because she's a fucking pearler.